So Jim, last week Gilead made a, a surprising acquisition announcement right. buying CV Therapeutics. And now that the Japanese company today announced that they're not going to go after a higher bid, it looks like they're going to get them. Right. And it's controversial. The stock's down today. We're still a big fan of the, right. of the story. And, you know, we bought some on the weakness. Probably will continue to. Well, but, but look, what was always the rap against Gilead? One product, one theme. Now, we knew that there were others. But right. the rap, the clearly visible rap was AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. Right. And uh, if you want to have, like Celgene, uh, which was Revlimid, Revlimid, Revlimid by myeloma, uh, leukemia, right. When you, if you want to have a broader product pro portfolio, as Genentech did before it got its bid, mm -hmm. you simply cannot be one product. And if you can pick off a company that has a, about to get approvals, and you can speak to where CBT, C, CVX, TX is in the pipeline, mm -hmm. but if you can pick off something that has approvals, then you run the then you uh, run the possibility that you could be like shearing plow, which mm -hmm. um, the reason why Merck got Merck, Merck bid them was that was that they were more than just Vitor and they had a bunch of things that they had bought from Oregon on. Why don't you speak to the pipeline of what Gilead just picked up? Well, you know it's funny we talked about Gilead a couple of weeks ago on the show, right? And you'd said you know other than HIV, what do they have? And I I, I said well we really own it for HIV and right. some of their Hep B products, right? Cardiovascular was really a distant third. I know. They do have a drug that's in phase three now, uh, that's cardiovascular drug, that could yield four to five hundred million in sales if it doesn't have, if the label is okay. Okay. There's some safety issues. But um, the CVTX, their product, one of their products anyway, um, they actually just got a relabeling. And their product is a little more, a little, uh, the safety was a question. It's a little better. Than okay. That. So there's more that they can. There's more that they can do, um, and they can joint sell this product with, um, you know, uh, CVTX's mm -hmm. Salesforce, Gilead Salesforce. There's a lot of synergies there. Um, I, I think that people were just surprised that Gilead made a deal. They didn't really have right. to do one, but this definitely jump starts their cardiovascular right. business. And in addition. We still do own it for HIV, Absolutely. especially if the guidelines change. Now, let's talk about the HIV, because I did some work on it this weekend. Mm -hmm. One of my old friends uh, became the head of the FDA, mm -hmm. uh, Peggy Hamburg. They call her Margaret Hamburg. Margaret Hamburg's tradition and what she worked with and how she moved up in the New York City healthcare mm -hmm. system was AIDS and AIDS prevention. Mm -hmm. um, she was probably the foremost uh, uh, a needle disseminator, mm -hmm. the foremost uh, informational disseminator, and the person who probably fought the Republicans more than anyone in terms of saying, listen, we've got to talk about AIDS. We can't just not talk about it because of who uh, gets it. Sure. And her being the head of the FDA is going to be a real positive for Gilead. Now, I'm not hearing anyone talk about this, mm -hmm. so I think most people don't know Peggy. Mm -hmm. But Peggy is a brilliant woman who is deeply concerned about AIDS as being a curable disease. Mm -hmm. And she's the head of the FDA, that's Gilead. Well, and then again, these, these changing of the guidelines to treat these sick people at an earlier stage, um, they don't have to be as sick. Right. That is a billion dollar opportunity no. for Gilead. That's, that's, that's why Gilead 30, 40, is so right here. A share With or without, right. Gilead's so right here. So think, it's a you know. good story. And I know you and I have talked about healthcare overall. We are, right. you know, we went to market, we were overweight, went to market weight. We're looking to, on weakness, to maybe add to some of our. Well, needs. some of that was also staples. We cut back on Altria. Now, I have right. to tell you, in some ways, I regret cutting cutting back on Altria because when you look at the Goldman Sachs piece, yeah. Altria is in the best quadrant, which yeah. is this uh, of some great value with dividend growth. Um, it doesn't have great growth with dividend, but great value with dividend growth, right. and it's going to continue to do that. Right. But at the same time, it was it, you know it became our largest position as it went up. It was eight percent of the fund. Right, you, you just can't, can't have that. You, you can't. As so much as I, it is my favorite in a lot of ways. It is, but it's still four percent, and we're right. gonna you know we need a cash so that right. we can buy back these stocks Plus, at a cheaper level. Right, and what we've always held in Action Alerts is that as the market has a big ramp, we scale back. Right. Last week was the biggest ramp since November. If we had decided to not sell, I think that would have been not prudent. Right, and now we have an opportunity to buy Gilead if it continues to weaken. Terrific.